Come on. He went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After him! Get back here, Niles! God damn it, shit! Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind, and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think he can hear us. I don't give a shit! Cryogenic lockdown commencing. Please exit the lab immediately. Shit. We gotta stop. Look for a way through. This'll work. be a way to lift this lockdown. Okay, it's getting colder. We gotta do something. I'm gonna make him pay. You're not gonna do anything but freeze if we don't lift this lockdown. Is talking about? Later. After I deal with Miles. Got it. Every child needs a playmate. Have fun. Del? See you, I see you. Uh -oh. Let's take him down! Thank you. 
shot track. Locked. There's got to be a way to open it. Maybe there's something Jack can do. Jack, see where that leads. <laughs> Let's get after Niles.
After Niles, come on. Hey, Niles, we're still coming. I really don't think he can hear you. I really don't care. been done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you. Look out! Shoot his back! 
real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skip.
find what you're looking for. Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vaskar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying... No, excuse me. Liberating this glorious land. Okay. Remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functional? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What you got, Jack? Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. 
So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. Had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then, everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. And they started making ease. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes. Which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert points. I've never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Sapped and superheated by a lightning flare. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be. You're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? 
And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? <laughs> 